Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a look for you guys. I feel like it has been a while since I've posted a video of me actually doing my makeup. The last couple videos have been either like me talking, doing the BoxyCharm unboxing, the other video was like my storage, my makeup storage, um, and I was like, you know what, I really need to record me doing my makeup because it's been a while and I kind of miss it. So I decided to create a, look, uh, create a look for you guys. And in the middle of the video, I kind of had this fun idea to go ahead and create a video only using one eyeshadow palette because that is like a struggle of mine. I need like 20 palettes to go ahead and complete a look. So I did my whole entire look just using one eyeshadow palette. I think that's it for the intro. Enough talking. I think I'm done. Yeah. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia. This is the Dip Brow Pomade in the color Medium Brown. I am very proud about how much my eyebrows have grown. I used to have no brows. Like, this is a big accomplishment for me. I used to have, like, zero brows. Nothing. There was nothing there. Um, and it has gone up so much. So I am so proud of my brows and how far they've come along. That's why I try to fill them in as natural as possible. So I'll just start down here and I like to go in with the shape that my brow is already I don't like to create crazy shapes I do like to take the natural course of how my brows are already formed just to keep that natural look I've been feeling like I'm having allergies lately and I'm freaking out because I really don't want it to be my dog. But you know what? I'm pretty sure that I'm allergic to Ollie. I'm going to go ahead and do a step that I actually always kind of just ignore. I never really do this. Um, but I kind of want to today because I have the time. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out my brows using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 2.75 Canelli or Canel? Canelli? On it. And I'm going to go ahead and just take a brush and carve out my brows, clean it up, and also go ahead and prep my eyelids for eyeshadow. So with this brush, I'm going to carefully take this and then just go down a little bit. And this is going to leave my lid tacky for eyeshadow that I'm about to put. So this will kind of be my base as well. Now we get to the fun part. I'm gonna do eyeshadow. Funny because I am the kind of person that I always did like foundation, everything first, and then my eyeshadow. And I would just get a bunch of follow and I'd be like, why is this happening to me? And I discovered doing eyeshadow before foundation and it's just a game changer. Ollie, now is not the time. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first and then I'll go ahead and complete the rest of my face. Only seriously, bro. And I kind of want to do a fun challenge because I feel like this is a big struggle for me. Like, I struggle so hard to do my eyeshadow with, like, minimal product. Like, I have to use, like, seven palettes to get an eyeshadow look done. So today, I'm going to challenge myself to only use one palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I feel like this palette is perfect to complete just an eye look using only this so i'm gonna go ahead and try that today and see what we come up with i am definitely thinking of using this shade this shade is beautiful um yeah we'll see so i'm gonna do my eyeshadow with only one palette so let's get started so to start off i'm gonna go ahead and take this pink shade here and i'm gonna use this as a transition shade this is in the color nougat or nougat nougat like chicken nougat i don't know I've never seen that. This is going to be like my transition shade that ties everything together. I'm going to go in with the color Peanut Butter. And that is this beautiful orangey brown color. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put that right in my crease, a little bit lower where I put nougat. Nougat. I like that word. Nougat. I'm going to go in with the shade Mousse, and that is this taupey kind of color right here. You know what, that shade isn't dark enough uh, the way that I want it to be. So I'm going to actually go in with this shade right here called Puddin. And that is going to be this dark brown color. So now I'm going to go in with the NARS Soft Matte complete concealer and I'm just going to take a brush and kind of cut my crease a little bit. Um, I always get very nervous when it comes to this because I have very hooded uh, eye, eye lids. I was going to say eyebrows. Eyelids. So it's very hard for me to do the whole cut crease thing but I'm going to go ahead and try because this color intrigues me so much. This pink color right here it kind of has like these reflex in it. I'm not sure if you can see but I don't know, it just looks so pretty and I want to use that all over the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that concealer and just carve out. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that shade. It's called Pink Sugar. And I'm going to just go ahead and pack that on all over the lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend out the edges a little bit with just the product that's remaining on my brushes that I used before. Move on to my face and then I'll go back and fix my eyes. Um, so I'm going to take a wipe and just wipe out any excess product that may have fallen on my face. And you know what? I'm impressed. This really doesn't have that much fallout. It's actually pretty good. I mean, other than the glitter, but I feel like that's normal. So I'm going to go ahead and start my face, and I'm going to prime by starting off with the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. And this is a primer that was given in a BoxyCharm box, so I'm going to just take a little bit of that and prime my face. I feel like I've been doing my makeup forever, but I don't love how, how that came out. But for my face, I'm going to go ahead and mix two foundations. So the two foundations I'm going to mix is this one right here. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation in the color 103 Natural Buff. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color 365C. And this is Soft Beige. So we're just going to go ahead and mix a little bit of these two foundations. Just because I feel like no foundation really matches me right now. But yes, so we'll take a little bit of this one and put it in between. So I'm going to go ahead and use a damp beauty sponge. And this is a beauty blender. And just go ahead and buff out my foundation. Guys, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is in the color Light. I am out of this so badly but we're just going to take a little bit and just brighten up these bags i haven't been sleeping that much lately i have been yeah i just can't sleep i'm like nocturnal i'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of my estee lauder double wear concealer in the color light because this has a little bit more of a yellow undertone and it will just look better. But I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. For my powder to go ahead and set my concealer, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the color Transparent. Guys, I have been obsessed with this thing like no other. I haven't used anything else to set my under eye. So I'm going to take that with the same beauty sponge. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and bronze my face and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this is so pretty. This is in the shade Medium Deep. So it is this bronzer right here. It's just a complete matte bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Oh my god, funny story. The other day I was getting ready for work 
and I don't know what I was thinking but I was doing my makeup and then all of a sudden I I like did my face my eyeshadow eyeliner I did foundation concealer like whole nine right I get in the car and I'm like yo I look so weird what is wrong with my face I hadn't put any bronzer any blush any highlight and nothing like I legit walked out with just like foundation and concealer on my face and I look so weird it was the strangest thing for blush I'm gonna go in with the Tarte 12 hour Amazonian clay blush and this is in the color classic I love coral blushes I feel like they're so beautiful and they give such a pretty touch to the face for highlight, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite highlights ever, and it is the Rodeo Drive by Ofra. And this highlight is so good. I love it so, so much. And what I like to do after I put on my highlight is just kind of blend everything together. Because as you can see, there's like that film there, and I don't like that. Some people do, but I'm just like... I'm not that big into highlight to where I enjoy that like white strip. So just go ahead and blend that a little bit just so it can sink in. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the same colors that I used for my crease, which is the peanut butter, truffled, and pudding. Are those the colors? I forgot. But yeah, I'm just going to go into those three and just put that on my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyeliner. I'm actually going to use this pretty vulgar eyeliner. It is called the Ink. It is just this blacklist gel liner. I'm going to go ahead and with this very thin liner brush. So for mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wonder Beauty Unleashed Mascara. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Unleashed Mascara that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to do my eyelashes. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lumiere Liner. And this is a Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration. And I'm going to go ahead and top my lips with the dose of colors more creamer please and I know this is a weird mix but we're just gonna blend that together okay guys and that completes this look I really hope you guys did enjoy this video I had fun making it for you guys this was the first time that I used only one eyeshadow palette and I did find myself struggling so maybe I have to work on that a little bit because I definitely was like help SOS I need another palette um but you know what overall I am not upset with the look I feel like it definitely could have came out better but you know what it's not that bad I look presentable and that's all that matters so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did as well and leave any comments down below for any future suggestion videos that you guys would want to see from me so I can go ahead and create that for you guys and yeah that's it and thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye what Ollie damn damn just a girl. <sighs> what, Ollie? Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> I love listening to music after I do my makeup. I think that's like a normal makeup thing. <laughs>